Hi, I'm Dr. Rick Martinello, the Medical Director for Infection Prevention at Yale New Haven Health. Uh, today I want to spend a little bit of time and go through a few questions that we get about the vaccine. First, we're oftentimes asked whether or not the vaccine is safe. Uh, to date, all the data produced so far indicates the vaccine is safe with no serious long-term side effects. Any immediate side effects, such as a sore arm, were not severe and typically occurred within six weeks of vaccination. The FDA will continue to monitor for any rare safety issues, and this holds true for the vaccines produced both by Pfizer and Moderna. Why should someone get the vaccine even though they are wearing a mask, washing their hands often, and practicing physical distancing? Stopping a pandemic requires using all the tools available. Vaccines work with your immune system so your body will be ready to fight the virus and reduce or eliminate illness if you are exposed. Other steps like covering your mouth and nose with a mask and staying at least six feet away from others help to reduce your chance of being exposed to the virus or spreading it to others. What is in the COVID vaccine and how does it work? People will need two shots of the Pfizer vaccine given three weeks apart. The vaccine is different from vaccines of the past. It contains messenger RNA called mRNA. These are tiny snippets of genetic code that trigger the immune system to produce protective antibodies without using actual bits of the virus. The Moderna vaccine works in the same way. It is important to note that these vaccines do not have any impact on our own genes. The vaccine material breaks down in the body shortly after it is taken into our cells. Are there any side effects? And how can I tell if the side effects are from the vaccine or from an actual COVID-19 infection? Common side effects from the vaccine include soreness, redness, and swelling at the injection site. In addition, fevers, muscle aches, and headaches can develop after the COVID-19 vaccine. Symptoms typically go away on their own within a couple of days. Side effects are really a sign that the immune system is working to protect you. As with any medicine, there is a very remote chance of a vaccine causing an allergic reaction. No severe side effects have been reported from the clinical trials. The vaccine does not cause respiratory symptoms or a loss of taste or smell, which are sometimes seen with a true COVID-19 infection. For these symptoms or anything apart from mild side effects, you should call the COVID-19 call center at 833-ASK-YNHH, option two, between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., seven days a week, or an urgent care center if after hours for medical advice and possible COVID-19 testing. Can the vaccine give someone COVID-19? No, the vaccine does not contain any live or dead versions of the virus, so it cannot give you COVID-19. How effective is the vaccine? How long will it protect those who get the vaccine? Pfizer reports the vaccine is 95% effective. While these studies haven't indicated how long that protection will last, the FDA predicts it to be effective for several months and possibly a year. Vaccine experts are continuing to study the virus and the vaccine to learn more. If you've already had COVID, should you get the vaccine? The extent to which antibodies that develop in response to SARS-CoV-2 infection are protective is still under study. If these antibodies are protective, it's not known what antibody levels are needed to protect against reinfection. Therefore, even those who have previously had a COVID-19 infection can and should receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Can we stop wearing masks once vaccinations are given? While the vaccine is extremely effective, a small percentage of those who receive it may not be fully protected. So we need to continue to wear masks and other personal protective equipment. We need to continue to physically distance and use other precautions. Also, because not everyone will be vaccinated, it will take a while before COVID-19 is no longer circulating widely. I have many people asking me if I'm going to get the vaccine. Yes, as soon as I am notified that I am eligible to receive the vaccine, I plan on making my appointment for both doses. It's the best way to keep my patients, my family, and myself safe as we all make our way through this pandemic. 